Hello. In this short video, you'll learn about the main features of Anadot's Business Incident Detection System. This is the home page. It includes four sections, dashboards, anomalies, metrics, and alerts. We will start with the metrics section. Metrics are built from key value pairs. We refer to these key values as properties or dimensions. In this screen, you can see all of your metrics and understand the metrics behavior over time. Here you can search for metrics by properties or dimensions and their values. For example, all the metrics in which the property device category has the value mobile. You can also search with regular expressions and wildcards. So let's change this search to include all the metrics that contain a property value ending with top. This part of the screen displays your search results in two parts, the top 10 metrics and the graphical representation of these metrics. The Save button lets you save your filtered metrics as a dashboard, create an alert, or a composite metric. You'll learn more about how to create composite metrics in a separate video. Let's move on to Anomalies. Here, you can view and search for anomalies that Anadot discovered in your metrics. Anomalies are deviation from the normal behavior of the metric. Anadot's patented machine learning algorithms automatically learn the normal behavior of the metrics over time, including seasonal and other types of behavior. These tiles are called anoboards, which are anomaly dashboards. Anoboards display anomalies based on a set of metrics and criteria that the user has predefined. For example, let's take a look at this anaboard. Here you can see all the anomalies that match the filtering criteria defined on the left of the screen. You can investigate each incident as part of your root cause analysis process using the Investigate button. And this is an anomap, a heat map that shows the contribution of the different dimensions or properties to each anomaly. On the left side of the screen, you can search for anomalies in particular metrics and filter them by the anomaly's properties. Now, let's learn more about alerts. In this screen, you can filter and view existing alerts or create new alerts. You can choose to view alerts that you created by clicking on My Alerts or the alerts that you've subscribed to by clicking on My Subscription. For each alert, you can see its status, whether it's active or paused, and you can also see its severity. You can filter the alerts based on free text. For example, let's filter all the alerts for cell phones. By clicking on an alert, you can see relevant information about it along with other alert-related actions that you can perform. Let's close this window. The New tab lets you configure the metrics that you want to be alerted on in case of anomalies. You can learn more about how to create new alerts in a separate video. And last, let's look at the Dashboards tab. Dashboards allow you to easily access, review, and visualize groups of metrics. Let's click, for example, on the Computer Sales Dashboard. A dashboard contains multiple tiles, each of which represents a single metric or group of metrics. A tile can be a chart, meter, or free text. You can add a tile by clicking the Add button and then choosing from these three options. You can also share your dashboard using the Share button. You can choose to share it privately, that is, with authorized Anadot users, or share it with anyone. We hope you enjoyed this short introduction to Anadot's Business Incident Detection Solution. Please check our other tutorials where you can learn more about how to use the capabilities of Anadot.